Hello, my beautiful ladies. How you doing? I'm so sorry for not posting. Actually, I'm today 20 days post up and I'm going to share all the footages, uh, the vlog of my surgery. I promise. The thing is like I was so buzzed by all the painkillers that I filmed so many footages actually. And I am trying to figure out how I'm going to post them, if I'm going to do one video or if I'm going to do multiple videos. Yeah, this is just what I'm trying to do. Plus, I have to deal with my recovery and other things. I am so grateful for all of you who have asked me how I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to reveal you my new body soon. But in today's video... I'm going to share actually uh, some of the lipo essentials that you might need in case you want to do what I've done. If you want to, you know, just do liposuction. If you want to take this journey that I've taken of liposuction, there are things that I recommend personally and that the my doctor, my surgeon, have recommended me actually it was a must they gave me an amazon list with all the lipo essentials that i had to purchase through amazon so i'm going to put that in the description box down below i created the my own amazon list with what my surgeon has recommended me the clinic has recommended me plus what i needed that wasn't on that list what i thought was essential what the surgeon didn't tell me. So the following video, I filmed it pr uh, prior to the surgery. I showed all the things that I, you know, that was on the Amazon list, all the, the things they told me to buy. But I believe, you know, there are some stuff that was not on the list and that was really important. So this is why I'm doing this intro right now because I just wanted to have a few things but rest assured that everything is going to be in my Amazon store, the Barbie store. Link it in the description box down below. Yeah, so in the Amazon list that the clinic gave me, some things were not included. Um, but I discovered later on that I really, really needed like post-surgery. I really discovered like, you know what, this is i need this and then my nurse you know i hired a nurse if you have watched my previous video where i talk about my lipo journey prior surgery i explained that i hired a private nurse to come to pick me up right after surgery at the clinic and take me home and she's ended up stay three days so this nurse was recommended by you know was working with the clinic as um you know is a personal nurse how do you call them so that nurse agency works with the doctor because here in new york city is not like colombia or miami where you have recoveries um centers or like places that are for people that undergo liposuction they just go to this recovery centers they have nurses it's almost like a hospital here in new york city you have to hire extra care like extra help private nursing uh private care okay i don't even know how to call them but yeah you got the point yeah so so yeah so there were things that i really didn't um that I think I needed and while I was recovering, I found myself buying them on Amazon because those things were um, recommended by my nurse and by my massage therapist, my lymphatic massage therapist. Um, she's Colombian by the way, shout out to her. She's watching because she was really amazing. And most of them were like hacks, like perhaps the um, belly button plug uh, the surgeon did not tell me about that and I feel like it's essential because at a certain point I felt like my skin and my belly button was looking funny like sad and I was like scared I'm like I was like oh my god I don't want this belly button so the massage <laughs> therapist told me don't worry it's normal just buy um belly button plug or a little marble 
actually the little marble she said is better because it's hard so it's going to give it that round nice shape to your belly button okay and that's what i did i bought a little marble you know the one that the kids use to play and by the way everything is in my amazon store so go check it out down below i'm just saying that i'm just telling you what i haven't mentioned in the video that i filmed prior my surgery okay so that was that the marble what i did was i disinfected really really well i put the basic tracing which is an antibiotic that prevents uh infections and bacteria infection because you know here's the thing when you get out of liposuction you have some of you might have a little incision in the belly button which i did and i you know i put busy tracing in there just to prevent infection and on all of my incisions and that's you know very important and i put that in my amazon list by the way and um and then i took a surgical tape the one that does not stick it's the paper one the one for sensitive skin which is by the way my amazon store and i secure that and my belly button looks so cute never looked better you know i'm so happy then another thing that was really important was you know this supplement that i love is called bromelain and this is very very important it's a, a pineapple extract and it's very important for bruising swelling it really helps you recover fast like like this so you gotta buy this is in my amazon store what else all of the boards the fajas if you're gonna do the lipo 360 you're gonna need this okay look at this hold on i'm trying to flip this one sec all of these boards and fajas that i have oh, i can't flip okay so this is the the faja uh, this is the board for the back you see how it hugs you all around because you need to really like you want to snatch the waist, right? So you need to hug your your waist. Like you need to hug it all around because you want to compress, compress, compress. They gave me um like a fresh my first compression garment uh, right after surgery. But after that, you know, you have to kind of level up to a second um, faja. It's called, it's called stage two faja, and you you have to once you start healing and you feel like your stomach is not that sensitive anymore, I think after the first week, you can start wearing this board. This is the board that I use for the front, and this was for the back. Everything is in my store, amazing. Then, uh, yeah, other things like I said, I'm going to also share with you ladies, important, the recipe, that i've learned from my colombian massage therapist she told me you can really um this is a this is a really important hack right you just peel the pineapple and 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 use the ginger root and you make a tea and that's great if you're inflamed you're it's gonna go down like all water weight go down i will share the recipe too in this video so watch until the end make sure you watch until the end like subscribe share do all these things that are gonna help my channel grow i love you ladies and i see you in my next video hi ladies how you doing so this video is going to be really helpful for those who chose to undergo liposuction or lipo 360 like i did these are all the ingredients that you need um you know pre-op and post-op so we have basic tracing this is really uh important because you're going to put it on every single incision and it's going to prevent you from getting infected and have infection so let's talk about arnica this is uh by the way everything that they gave me in the amazon list and is very essential arnica is uh, our pellets they're helping you with bruising and i believe also help for blood clots as a blood thinner if i'm not wrong then they prescribe me magnesium this is just to you know 
calm your muscles and sleep better at night i got this um I, I was using it this every night before sleeping time this is basically a stool softener is called ben fiber and it's probiotic it really helps with softening your stool because you know you're going to be a little stiff here and there really really sore and you don't want to like squeeze your abdomen too much or you know trying to release whatever you need to release down there and this is actually really helpful and uh, it really helped me i love it it's plant-based and has fiber in it then this is a, just surgical tape you're going to need this because i personally use it for my belly button this is something that they don't tell you but you have to put something in your belly button so it doesn't look sad you know the sad belly button look uh where the skin is saggy so i personally put a marble a little marble i disinfected it i put busy tracing in my belly button and then secured it with the surgical tape this is a what is it abdominal pad this was just um you know between the incision and the garment the compression garment they gave me it's good because you know if you have some blood or some fluid after surgery it's just gonna help you absorb that um this is uh, how do you call this waist trainer yes this is a waist trainer it's just to tie things in place then they gave me in the list that what is it oh those are like lipo foams i'm sorry i filmed it really bad so this is lipo foam you just have to put it between your skin and the compression garment and you know eventually stage two faha and la 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 but honestly this re this is really helpful because your so is your skin is not touching the garment directly because it's sore after surgery yeah this is just like um the lipo roll the lipo roll and uh they like i said they told me to buy it because between massages between um lady coming in and giving me professional lymphatic massages you can do it on your own with the li like lipo roll it's not the same thing but i'm saying like you can just relieve yourself with this then i just bought this myself uh just in case because i really did not know what to expect so i just bought this <laughs> the diapers because it's like i don't know what what i'm gonna like really look like or i feel like i don't know how to feel i don't know what to expect literally so i don't know if i would uh, i was gonna be able to move at all you know they suggest you to walk every hour at least for 10 minutes so yeah walked in my apartment i was like fine but that's gonna be my next video this is a you see male urinal this is crazy because when i bought it at walgreens i thought it was unisex and then afterwards like i'm such a dummy like really like i'm throwing it away because i'm like i'm telling you ladies i'm such a dummy but i just put it in the video because you can purchase the unisex urinal if you want to okay uh this is really important ladies is marthy roots organic lymphatic support so those are like drops that you put in your drink in your water you know they tell you to drink a lot of water a lot of coconut water or regular water pineapple juice and you know stay hydrated actually i personally do um pineapple and ginger tea uh but pineapple skin not the pineapple so these are the under pads that you use you know like to cover your bed sheets and so for to protect your bed sheets because you never know you might leak at first the first day so you just want to protect your furnitures and this is waterproof i felt like a doggy oof but yeah so um, i also purchased a blanket and this blanket is it's like decent you know i mean i liked it but it's not like i liked it liked it so i thought you know if i need it like if it's gonna get stained on it i don't care i don't really care but i still got something that i kind of like because i feel like you know energy is everything like i felt like i didn't want to buy something that wouldn't make me feel good i don't know that's just me though and yeah so this is it this is my house 
and this is basically what I'm gonna do now. Oh, well, this is me pre-surgery, and uh, hopefully, you know, this belly gotta go, this square physique gotta go, girl. And this is my house, clean and ready for the surgery day. I'm scared. But definitely, lady, I'm going to keep you posted. Follow me on here so that you can see my next video. In my next video, I'm going to share with you, ladies, my surgery, all the surgery details. I'm going to vlog my Lipo 360 journey. So stay tuned. Something that you really need to know, again, is a hack that some people know, some people don't. Um, how can you help with your swelling okay you're gonna be really really swollen especially the first week um you should make your own tea right you see the ingredients that i put here it's like pineapple and ginger you're gonna make your tea with pineapple skin and ginger that's gonna really help you with the swelling where you you know with all like inflammation and you know it's just really good it, it works as a diuretic anti-inflammatory and here i have aloe vera this is gonna help with your sca scars but i will recommend to put this later when uh, all your incisions are are closed already yeah so i try to buy everything organic here. cheers to you and good luck with your recovery hi ladies thank you so much for watching if you made it this far thank you thank you thank you don't forget to subscribe now we're going to talk about foods that are gonna really help you with the swelling and water weights are really natural diuretic and have helped me personally you know i'm into healthy lifestyle so buy a fruit and veggie cleaner please because we're gonna use the pineapple skin and is you know not clean especially if you buy it at the supermarket everybody touch it also the cucumber the ginger you need to clean them right um so the cucumber the the most nutrients in every veggie are in the skin okay so i sliced the cucumber and the celery really thin because i'm gonna make a salad this is really good like i said for water weight is natural diuretic and i washed him and everything so since it's plain for me i just personally prefer it with some uh, lemon juice and uh, i added some avocado with sesame seed and organic hummus possibly with no so low sodium and low salt and avocado oil that's those are the ingredients that i've used you know because you can't eat too much sodium or salt when you're in the recovery especially it's not good for any like for anybody like always but i'm saying like especially after surgery you know you it's better if you stay away from that from salt so i really love this salad and um you know ladies i've always been into a healthy lifestyle so i've always knew this hack even before surgery i had a trainer coming to my gym four times a week minimum and he was also he's also a nutritionist so he told me all about um you know food and i know a lot about it myself so yeah you do that you create your own salad um you know you don't need to follow exactly what I do, but just be mindful of salt because that really is going to retain water. Salt, sodium, check every ingredient in what you're eating before you're eating them, okay? If it's not vegetable, if it's, has a, it comes in a package, you know, be sure to check the back label, all right? Then what's next? So yeah, actually I added... A little bit of pineapple since i was slicing the skin for my tea you need a pan and you just slice your ginger clean them really well like i said clean the ginger clean the pineapple skin with the cleaner disinfect them and then use the pan and pour some water in it it's just really easy and simple so yeah so like i said i added a little bit of pineapple to give it a little bit more flavor because i otherwise it would be too plain for me <laughs> but yes you do you boo um here is the water like i said um just pour as much as you you want you know 
and then it's ready to go now here it is i'm just cooking it like low flame. i would say low flame not too much like i don't know let it let all the juices and and the nutrients slowly get released into the water you know because that's what you really need ultimately so yeah boil it and just pour it in your cup and this is uh, i'm using a kitchen a cooking uh, spoon i really don't know how you guys call it in english but this is like just ideal and uh yeah i mean you see it's, it's just perfect it it is so good i love it because the pineapple is sweet so he has a little sweet flavor in it but i don't need sugar i didn't add sugar but if you want to you can or you can add a little bit of honey or sweetener whatever you like i personally drink three to four cup of this tea a day and i'm still drinking it okay thank you so much for watching and i see you in my next video